Hello and welcome to Just One More Watch and welcome back to the full review of this, the Trifolio Italia Millimetro. I could barely contain my glee when I opened the box a couple of weeks ago and I've been really enjoying wearing this timepiece. Let's flip the camera and get into today's full review. So the Trifolio Italia Millimetro, without a doubt the most interesting, entertaining and unusual watch that I've had the pleasure of reviewing since I started this channel. So Trifolio Italia, this is their fourth model. They do the Radio City and Radio City 2, which are super slim quartz dress pieces, and they do the Voyager, which is quite an interesting uh, design map of the world on the dial. But this is their one and only automatic model, uh, brand new for 2017. Now, regardless of which model you choose, they all come packaged in this rather nice little bronze box, very simple. Uh, this one comes with a, a two-year manufacturer's warranty card. No shortage of options for you with this one. No less than 78 different permutations. They do two different case designs. They do this in stainless steel. They also do it in a rose gold. Three different dial colors. Uh, this one, a kind of parchment cream color, if you like. They do a, a crisp white one, and they also do black. And a bewildering array of Milanese leather straps and NATO straps. Uh, mine came supplied on this uh, quite vibrant, actually quite complimentary uh, looking orange colored leather strap but anything that comes into this house with 20 mil lugs gets popped onto this collareb spoleto i think it makes whatever it touches look like a million dollars not that this one needed too much enhancement so dimensions wise then 42 millimeter in diameter i've already mentioned 20 mil lug width 12 millimeters thick this one 48 lug to lug so it's a 42, but I think it wears quite small for a 42. It wears quite neat. I'll pop it on the wrist later on. Also helped by the fact that it doesn't weigh an awful lot. Uh, less than 60 grams on this collar ebb or indeed on the supplied leather strap. Mineral crystal, so you don't get sapphire for the 399 US dollars that they're charging, but you do get one of the most unusual uh, watch designs that I think I've ever seen. I've seen quartz versions of this, but not in automatic. This one powered by the Myota 8215, fairly basic entry level uh, Japanese citizen Myota movement, uh, beats at 21,600 vibrations per hour, so roughly six ticks per second, or should that be six clicks per second, uh, given that this one doesn't have hands, it has these three rotating dials. Now, if I pop out the crown, it is a sign crown, a little small, but I'll talk about that later on. If you pop out the crown to uh, adjust, you can see those dials, whoops. You can see those dials in action there. So how on earth do you tell the time on this one? Well, actually, it's not as difficult as you would first think it is. You just read vertically down from the top there. So where are we there? 122 and 25 seconds. I think it's something that once you get used to, it's actually pretty easy to do. So if we flip over to have a look at the case back, 316L stainless steel, same as the, the case itself. Uh, laser etched here with the Trifolio Italia logo, automatic five atmospheres, so 50 meters water resistance, and the millimetro name and the 8215, the movement. TRF42ML. Now the case itself, fairly nicely finished. Not a lot of weight to it, but uh, nice brushing on the sides there. Fairly even and consistent brushing throughout. Now if we have a look at the supplied leather strap, Trifolio Italia, a nice little sign on the tang there. Uh, Alessandro always makes sure that these watches, nice little details. The devil is very much in the detail. Uh, Vera Pelli, Trifolio Italia printed underneath and a decent pair of spring bars which is always reassuring. Nice stitching in here, this one looks soft, supple but yet looks like it will last quite well also. And that's it on my 7 inch wrist and doesn't it look fantastic? I've really enjoyed wearing this watch out and about, uh, deliberately, intentionally showing it off to people, asking them what the time is and so on. A uh, really unusual timepiece this one. Definitely got a few uh, comments when I was out and about with it as well. I've, as I said, I think it looks good. The 42 mil probably aids the legibility. If it was any smaller, uh, it would make it a little more difficult to read. Just the mildest little bit of distortion 
from the domed mineral crystal there as well. So in terms of accuracy, I'll pop up a watch check app that I had running on this one for about a week. Pretty good actually for this series of movement, the Myota 8000, uh, 10 plus 10 a day. The other Myotas I've looked at have been between plus 15 and plus 20 a day. So I was a little bit worried actually that these discs would adversely affect the timekeeping, but if anything, this is the most accurate 8000 series movement that I've seen to date. So pretty good there all in all. So what are the negatives then regarding this watch? Well, I think the crown is a little bit small, disproportionately small. It's certainly a bit tough to hand wind. It could be doing with being a little bit thicker and a little bit larger, I think. And the case back, I'm not sure that it benefits from having all that text. It just looks like they had some space and thought, well, what can we, what can we fill it with? I mean, nobody cares, I don't think, that this is running an 8215, so I'm not really sure why they uh, why they bothered with the text on the on the back of the case there and one other thing that i noted this trifolio logo in the middle is not quite central now it sits a little bit to the to the south a little bit towards what would be the the six o'clock there so many concentric circles here it's just slightly off it's not something you notice day to day but something that i i picked up after a day or two of owning the watch it doesn't quite sit on that central plane, it sits a little bit lower. There's no real need for that uh, viewing uh, aperture, if you like, to sit quite so low. They could they could pull that up a little further to the top, I'm sure. And it is quite a busy dial. Legible, as I said, once you get used to it, it's fairly easy to read, but I'm not sure why they bothered with that second line of text uh, underneath there. I get it why they put the, the 15, 30, 45 and so on, but they no need to put seven and a half and 22 and a half under there. I think it just clouds the dial. It would be a little bit cleaner without that on it. But such an entertaining watch, really very unusual. If you're interested in this one, as always with these smaller companies, shop for the deal. Like them on Facebook, follow them on Instagram. I spotted these on A Touch of Modern for 2.99 US. Uh, which is a much more attractive price tag than the 399 US you can buy them from elsewhere. But a lovely watch. I, I certainly will be keeping this one. Very unusual. Not something you're going to see every day. A real conversation piece, the Trifolio Millimetro. So there you have it, the Trifolio Italia Millimetro. Thoroughly entertaining timepiece. Perhaps not the most practical for everyday wear, but as a weekender or a bit of fun, highly recommended. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.